Getting paid as a doctor should be straightforward, right? Provide a service, submit a claim, and receive payment. It sounds simple enough, but a lot could go wrong with the process. The American Medical Association's most recent study found that major payers return up to 29% of claims with zero dollars in payment. This happens most commonly because the patient is responsible for the balance. It also happens 7% of the time because of claim edits and 5% of the time because of other denials. But what kind of things can go wrong? Hi everyone, I'm Elia from eTactics, and today I'm going to talk about three reasons your claims get denied. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Also, hit that alert bell icon so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. Each diagnosis must follow the ICD-10 CM standard. In a nutshell, a doctor's diagnosis becomes a code of letters and numbers for insurance companies to understand what happened in the exam room. The code must have the maximum number of digits in order to use it. Otherwise, there will be some sort of error. An insurance company may deny a claim because of a coding error. Maybe it was incorrect, incomplete, or inadequate. If you receive a denial with this reason category, in most cases, the payer will send it back to you with a CO11. Luckily for you, this is an easy fix. Just resubmit the claim with the correct coding information. You might face a denied claim because there was some sort of information missing on the claim. Maybe you mistyped the patient's last name or you forgot to enter their address. Most of the time, this kind of denial happens because you are missing the date of the accident, medical emergency, or onset. This denial reason also usually follows a CO11 code from the payer. Maybe you filled out all the different sections of the medical claim you just submitted. Therefore, there's zero missing information. All good to go, right? Wrong. If you misspell the patient's name, mistyped their date of birth, or clicked on the wrong gender, your claim will still get denied. Some things you should double check prior to the claim submission to catch these errors are policy number, needing a group number, any exclusions, proper diagnosis code, and typos in patient information. The standard denial code that comes alongside inaccurate patient information is CO16. If you'd like to learn more about how to avoid receiving a denied claim, reach out to Tactics. And you've already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.